Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles. I'm out here taking a little bit of a walk in my woods today. Spring is starting to spring, and we've got a lot of evidence of this. We have spring beauties coming in, we have toothworts coming in, we have may apples coming in, and we even have some trout lilies. These are all awesome plants. They're awesome early spring wild edibles. May apples edible, or well, at least the fruit of it is. Make sure you don't eat the rest of the plant because it is poisonous. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I plan on doing a lot of cooking videos and harvesting videos this year. I plan on doing them outside because I have an awesome fire pit perfect for cooking. So without further ado, let's get right into it and look at some beautiful spring wild edible plants. Well, it looks like spring is officially here. Right in front of us, we can see some may apples just starting to come up. We've got that little guy there. We can see the umbrella-like leaf starting here and there. But if you look really carefully, you can see what looks like these little bitty white yellow spud-like things coming out of the ground. There are these little spikes coming out of the ground. This is what may apples look like whenever they're very first starting to come up. As they come up and they grow older, they'll put out these umbrella-like leaves and these leaves will get extremely large. But let's take a closer look because I know this is hard to see. So let's take a closer look at these and see what they really look like. Right here, out of this little bitty guy, we can see some of this green right around the outside of it. This is the very beginning of the leaves and here we see this white spike. This one hasn't started producing leaves that are visible yet, but if we move this leaf, we might be able to see some. We might not. Okay, so there are no leaves on this. However, this is the very beginning of May apple. May apple is a really good plant to know because morels really enjoy growing around May apple plants. They often are hiding underneath them. I've never found them underneath a May apple, but a lot of people do. So make sure you keep that in mind and finding these little bitty spades or the little bitty spikes is a really good way to tell, not only if you have morels, but it's also a good way to know that there are may apples in the area. So make sure you keep an eye out for these guys in the spring. We've got a lot of other cool things growing here as well, so let's go take a look. Right here is another really good example of another spring wild edible. Now I've talked about this in a couple of my videos, and ironically enough, this plant is called Spring Beauty. It's called Spring Beauty because it not only blooms in spring, but it is exceptionally beautiful. It's a colonizing plant, so it usually grows in large mats or colonies in an area. This is one of the earliest flowering plants that I have in my area, and it grows in a lot of the eastern United States. So this is a great plant to keep an eye out for. It's extremely delicious, though it can be a bit tedious to gather. It is extremely delicious and overall easy to gather. It's just hard to gather a lot of it. Whenever you're gathering spring beauties, you definitely want to gather the root or the corm of the plant. And it's extremely small, but if you gather it properly, you can find extremely large ones. Here we've got a really beautiful cluster of flowers on the spring beauty. Now, as you can see, these flowers are kind of white with a little bit of a pink, but they also have like a pinkish stripe running through the center of the petals. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five petals on each flower, and each spring beauty plant can produce multiple stems with multiple sets of leaves and multiple sets of flowers. So definitely keep an eye out for these beautiful flowers in the spring. They're extremely photogenic, However, because of their size, they might be difficult to get on camera for some people. But if you get a good picture of them, they are extremely gorgeous. And right here we can see some of these leaves of the Spring Beauty. They look somewhat like grass to some people. However, it's definitely not grass. From what I understand, the whole above ground part of the plant is also edible, though I have never tried it. Though I do plan on trying it this year and possibly even making a video on it once I know how to do it and how it tastes. So whenever you see these leaves with this reddish stem coming out of the ground, smooth on the margins, these leaves are smooth on the margins, and whenever you see these leaves coming out of the ground, you know spring has sprung because the spring beauties are springing. Here is another really good example of a springtime plant that is extremely beautiful and unfortunately it's not very well known. However, this plant is amazing. It's called cutleaf toothwort. It's a native in the eastern United States and its rhizome makes an excellent horseradish substitute. 
it does taste exactly like horseradish. And this year I plan on having a video on making horseradish from this plant as well, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Here we can see these little bitty flower buds that are starting to come in. The flowers on this plant are pink to pinkish white, and it's extremely beautiful. It's another one of the earliest flowering plants that we have in the spring in my part of the country. So make sure you keep an eye out for these guys if you really love horseradish, because they are delicious. Now right next to this plant, if we turn around here, we can see this little bitty tiny mottled leaf coming out of the soil. This is the leaf of trout lily. Now trout lily is an amazingly delicious plant as well. The root of it is what's edible. This is another really early springtime wild edible, and it's also, like toothwort, not very well known. Spring beauty, toothwort, and trout lily all generally grow in the same area, in the same type of environment, and they're also, unfortunately, not very well known. Trout lily, because it's a colonizing plant, you'll generally find a lot of them in the same area. Now a little bit later in the year, closer towards morel season, these are going to produce a yellow flower. These have a yellow flower, and that yellow flower is a really good sign that there's trout lilies, especially if you see these mottled leaves, it's definitely a trout lily. It is edible and it's extremely delicious. It goes very well with spring beauty roots from what I understand, though I have never tried the two together. However, if luck is in my favor this year, I'll be able to make a video on that as well. So make sure you keep an eye out for these little bitty mottled leaves coming out of the soil. So that concludes a little bit of our walk through the woods today, looking at some awesome spring wild edibles. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.